All right, so first up, um, I, I, oh, sorry, I need to also show this version history. Um, do you ever look at this? Okay, it just shows you on the CAD we added this thing, and then on output shape we have this thing, and on I, they, so it sort of starts with a little topic. So big changes will be written here. So people fall behind because they don't look at this and this value that can really benefit you. So start incorporating that. Um, okay, or wait for my next SAGI workshop. <laughs> okay. Um, so one of the things, I just want to open up my list of little things I need to just cover. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so these are some of the topics I'm going to cover now. Um, how to bring in Google Images and generating contours from Google Maps. We're all surveyors here and we know that we need a little fallout contour somewhere for a preliminary quotation maybe. It's nice to be able to do that. And Google Maps gives us fairly good heights so we can incorporate that. So let's quickly start with that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll bring in a file that I'm also going to show other stuff on. Who does town planning work? Okay. So I had to focus on town planners a little bit because of a new customer that uh, recently uh, looked at our software and I felt, no, we don't really address a lot of the town planning needs as much as we, we want to. Okay, so that's just a little file that's loaded and this is how I would bring in a Google image. So you can go to CAD and then go to images down there or you can press the shortcut there. I'm just going to clear all of this and then you can click this button. Don't use Google Earth anymore. Okay. So in the past, we would go to file and say Google Earth image. That's not cool anymore. There's a new cool. <laughs> we go to Google Maps. Okay, it then localizes you, but you can also say sync with projects at the bottom or put in an address and it takes you there. All right. And it's also not tilted, not rotated. It's perfect, but it is the Google Maps latest imagery, whatever they give to us. So we stuck with that. Uh, so zoom in where you want. Okay, so this is my focus area. There's a neat feature down here where you can say take this area and divide it into four or 16 images. It then goes in, if you say 16, it will probably go to the maximum zoom level that's applicable for 16 images and it will block image for image and put that as a stack of images into your drawing. In this case, I need to, if I go to the maximum zoom, that's the maximum. So I probably need to, if I want to cover both, I need to get both images in. So I'll do that manually now. Okay. So I'll just say capture image at the bottom. It then switches all those labels and stuff off. Then I'll activate slot number two, go back to images. And I have to sort of remember where my last sort of cover wise because it doesn't remember my last zoom so I need to zoom in again that is the only thing that I can say that's not nice about this but it is what it is okay there's my second slot image okay and then I can also do a third one of the whole area which would be a less a more pixelated image okay so I generally try to do that if I need to just give an overview plan plot or something like that all right so when you're done you can just say close. Uh, but if you didn't know, you could also say, um, let's just call this the, uh, let's say Google Earth Images. And there I'm pressing that button and I'm creating a layer with that name, a CAD layer. Okay, there it is. And then I can highlight both of those and press this button and it assigns them to a Google Earth layer. So now I don't have to switch global images on and off. 
I can have different images. Maybe I got a height analysis image on one or a different my drone image on another or different aged images. And I can, based on layers, just switch them on and off. So that's quite useful to know. All right, so we can attach an image to a layer. All right, so we say close. And then they are loaded. Okay. And if you look at the image quality with the Google Earth, there would have been a little shadow where the transition was. So it's not perfect. You can see there is some um, distortion a little, a little bit, but... Uh, it seems like the zoom level I was at the first time and the second time is not perfect. But it's for what we do good enough. Okay.